Hey everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Uh, we had had a little fistfight altercation when we last left off. And now we're just going to, uh, let's have a look around. And see if anybody needs our help. We will check out the notice board in town. Elsa bears her rump ah! with blackness. Little whore. could tell that everyone seems very happy that we're here. It's raining, it it's pouring, it's raining, and 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 let's see here. Geralt has learned from experience to keep a close eye on his surroundings as he travels, for he never knows when he'll run into someone or something of interest, a damsel in distress, a merchant peddling rare wares, or a nest of pesky monsters. Such locations are marked on your map with the following icons. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's head to the notice board. And let's take a look at what we have. So some of these are going to have quests, but some of them are just going to be information. Others will mark places of interest on our map. Imperial Edict number 1845. Let it hereby be known that, by order of His Imperial Majesty's High Command, all able-bodied men of White Orchard must present themselves at the village inn, equipped with a shovel, hoe, or pickaxe of their own provisioning. The fields near the village are littered with corpses, and given the warmth of spring we are currently experiencing, the High Command fears the rotting bodies might bring contagion to the village. Let this stand as proof to the residents of White Orchard that their new rulers care for their safety and shall defend them not only from bandits, but also from disease. By introducing measures which have long been standard in the civilized world, any men refusing to comply with this order will be flogged and put in the stocks. Okay, wanted deserter. Last night a soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. The wanted man, a recruit who recently volunteered to join his Imperial Majesty's service, goes by the name of Odrin. Uh, those of you who've played Witcher 2, you know who Odrin is. We've never found Odrin. He claimed to be a Kedwini by birth, but said King Henselt's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. He was part of said institution for a mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in that time for an entire regiment of dragon, dragoons. Anyone with information about this deserter's present location is to report to the garrison at once. Description: Modest stature, weary, with thinning hair, he fled in his undergarments by squeezing out through the latrine's drainage system and probably thus reeks like an old boar. Characteristic marks can be easily recognized by his voice, which has the telltale rasp of a hardened alcoholic. Anyone found to providing shelter or sustenance to the deserter will be subject to summary court-martial. Uh, the new order. This Thursday, all peasants living nearby are invited to come listen to Captain Peter Sarginvil speak on the subject of laws soon to be introduced to these lands by the writ of our most gracious sovereign, Emir von Emrys. Attendance is not obligatory, but every resident of Void Orchard should partake of this opportunity to learn what rights will, they will enjoy and duties they will have under their new order. Good folk, you no longer live in a barbarous land where every man does as he sees fit. You are now part of the great empire of Nilfgaard. Nilfgaardian law, law now protects you, yet it also ascribes you new obligations. Imperial forces have brought you the torch of enlightenment. Now grab hold of it. Your dark age shall end, shall soon give way to a bright new era. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, I'm not trying to fight anybody. Let's see. Death to the invaders. Hark, fair, for, fair, fair folk of the north. If you have a yearning for freedom, if you're prepared to take up arms to defend the motherland, head to the woods. We grow stronger by the day and will soon show the Northgardian vermin that the Temerian nation will not bear its yoke without a fight. If your heart bleeds blue and gold lilies, you will sooner die, if you will sooner die for your country than live as a slave to foreigners. Let us swear by our fathers who fell to the bastards at Sodden, by the souls of the dead buried at Brenna, to arms. Ah, uh, let's contract. Devil by the well. Good folk. I know there's a war on and every man's got trouble enough of his own, but perhaps there's one of you who could help a father in need. You all surely know the well in the ruined village and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. And if you don't know, well, come ask and I'll tell you about it. Whoever drives that monster away from the well will get a fat purse of gold. Just don't tarry, for it's an urgent matter. Brother Missing. Bastion, my brother, went off to fight the Black Ones. I have reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day. Like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, and I know it's like he did, I, I'd, give, I'd give him up to the ground at least, like our fathers have done always. I'd bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie, not leave his corpse to be ate by the corpsers prowling around the battleground. So I seek a man brave, able with sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastion. I won't pay much for I have not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Any man willing to help, look for a raised hut along the road to White Orchard, just near the bridge. I made camp there. Okay, so, we picked up everything. 
Yeah, so this is a quest. Yeah, we got it. And then we have... So this will mark which ones are actually going to start quest, I guess. When one of your quests is updated, notification will appear on the left side of the screen. If you are not currently tracking the updated quest, you can press V to start tracking it. So we can ask about the contract. Let's see. Yeah, we can do that. And we also have uh, somebody right in front of us, basically. It's explaining to us how to use the world map. I think we can figure that stuff out, right? But that's a good tutorial if you've never played uh, any of these games before or any games like it. That would kind of ease your way in. Uh, so we're going to head down here and check out what this available quest is before we do anything else. No, he's not very happy. Uh, well, what? let's see what he wants. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. <laughs> what do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Hmm. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. Uh, let's see. Well, we could probably help out, but we are a witcher, and therefore we will have to ask for some kind of price. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left. But I'll give you all if you bring me that horse. Well, we don't need all of it. So he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? That's true. Good luck. All right, use your Witcher senses to look behind the forge for clues about the arsonist. All right, uh, let's go ahead and, well, we don't need a roach. We just need to turn our senses on here. We'll just take all your stuff while we're at it. All right, we've got footprints. Footprints, a man's, large. Whoa. That's a tree, girl. Stinks of piss and vodka. Hmm, that makes sense. Kind of want to turn auto run off. I'd like to be able to move a little bit slower than that. Did we lose the trail? Here we go. What's up with this guy? Any tidings from Vizima? Mm, no. Ooh, herbs. My gran told me about the smith boy. Lad went missing one day, so I spoke to Nabu Witch and looked for something. All right, back to the task at hand. They're telling stories about us. That was a weird noise. Took off his boots and went in the water. 
Probably wanted to cover his trail. Well, I'm assuming he would have had to come out on the other side, right? Oh, here we go. He did a little loop around. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. Mm. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Sure, not so sure. Who knows? Will you go to the well in Hovel instead? Not on your life. I'd rather be ill than disturb a ghost. Hmm. Hey, that's referencing the quest we had about the small abandoned town of the Haunted Well. I like that you can listen to the just the people around and they give you other hints and other insights into the world. Tracks lead back to the village. Alright. So he did a little loop hoping that Bleeding, but not badly. He would lose anybody Surface who tried to wound. follow him. Pretty smart for a drunk wounded guy, I guess. Well, oh, it's gonna hey. go right into this house. I'll take that. What do you want? Well, we kind of want to know who lives here. One, two, three. The old witch see thee. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Hey, Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. <laughs> well, that's pleasant. Maybe we should see if we can take some of your stuff. Don't mind us. A black magic doll, that's very odd. Why would we find a black magic doll in here? A little candlelight for you. Ah. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. Why not talk to a non human? Sons of bitches all. And dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies. Do anything but gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throat. Am I not right? I think you're totally wrong. Yes. We can work this out, man. But to man. Uh, hmm. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back, and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left? Yeah, you drank yours. some. It looks like. Uh, no way. We took a contract, and we're gonna fulfill it. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Oh, big mistake, buddy. Yeah, well... We could use the axe sign and calm him down. It'd probably be better than just beating the crap out of him. Let's see if we can do that. Calm down. Now follow me. We'll use our old Jedi mind tricks. Uh, don't mind us. We're just gonna take this guy. Well, come on, let's go. I gotta apologize. Gotta yeah. go. Apologize. Yeah, that's a start. Come on, buddy. I hope we can't like lose him, but I'm, I want him to kind of stay close to us just in case we can lose him. Look at how beautiful it is in this Down village, guys. In the old oh. oak tree. Brew inside her devilish D-E-R-V-A-N. Not Doidemar. <coughs> what do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. Hmm. What kind of name is that anyway? Durvan. Nilfgaard. It's a Nilfgaardian name. My gran was from Nazare. Oh, so that's how it is. Then by my leave, Master Durvan. May the gold sun guide you far away from my land. Come on, Nap. Let's go. I think you've got it tough. 
You've a roof over your head, that's something. When the black ones laid siege to the zenith, they burned the outskirts to the ground. Hmm. Oh, I heard about that. What? What do you say? Who told you that? Uh, Jetty. Now listen carefully, Witchers. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. Hmm. Chetty's my best mate. Chetty's a little fool who'll get us all killed. That's right. I'll see you with him again and you'll regret it. It's a new world order here. The Nilfgaardians have taken over. Basically, the entire north. At this point. Okay, Willis, we found a guy. He's he's making his way here, slowly but surely. It's not gonna fix the damage he's caused, but I don't know. I guess I don't know what he stands to get out of this except justice. Looking for trouble? Not really. Up and at him. Hmm. What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mom for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. Oh, man. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Oh Not shit, they're gonna rebuild. About, mate. Wow. This here's the arsonist. Hmm. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. Oh, that's right. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Wow. Sorry. Shouldn't burn people's things down, though. That's pretty harsh, though. They're gonna go hang the guy, and the reason is, you know, it wasn't just the Smiths, Smithy anymore. The the Nilfgaardian garrison had requisitioned it, and now they actually are going to help the dwarf rebuild it. But uh, that guy's done. Yeah, it's just pretty harsh punishment. Harsh as punishment goes, but deserved. Mm. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Well, let's see what you have. I don't even know that we have that much money, to be honest. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do the for experience you this uh, first quest done. Let's see, what do you have? Show me what you got. Uh, we have 320 crowns. He's got some clothes. He's got a saddle. He's got improved saddlebags that, uh, let's see, maximum inventory weight by 30. And he's got a bunch of crafting diagrams. Uh, these are like level 6 and, and up, so we don't really need to worry about any of this right now. But good to know what he has. What do we have? A torch that we cannot sell. Alright, obviously right now we're probably not going to be buying a lot of anything. So long. But it's good to know where we can when we're ready to do that. Alright, let's take a look at our map here. It wants us to be more tutorialized, but we're going to just take a look at some different things that we can do. We had... I, got, I thought we'd had a request to clear out a town well, maybe at the ransacked village. Oh, we could fast travel once we unlock these, but let's go ahead and maybe we will head out that way. We could come down here to the south and just come across the road and just kind of hit things as we go. Uh, I plan to be pretty thorough. I'm not going to find everything because I'm I'm just never going to be that kind of completionist. But I am going to try to do all the things that we can do. Uh, we need Roach. Look at the amber waves of grain blowing in the wind. Run, Roach. 
There we go. Let's not run right into a tree, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, uh, let's get off a roach here. Oh, he's had enough of us anyway. Oh, uh, that's gonna blow. Oh, shoot. Time to end this. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh shit, sorry. Alright. I was a little sloppy, but uh, I didn't expect to get thrown so quickly. I thought we'd be able to dismount. Roach was not having any of that. Not at all. Alright, uh, did we get them all? Yeah. Should use our senses and just check out what's around. Those explosive barrels, we got lucky. Uh, we got out of there in time. Uh, Kadarian Gambison, some dark ore, some oil, and a diagram. Take diagrams to craftsmen with the proper skills to have, have them craft the item for you. Potions, you have a Witcher potion, but in order to use it, you must first equip it. Fair enough. Uh, what do we have? We have Tawny Owl. Which is going to be stamina regeneration in combat. So that could be very useful. Let's go ahead and equip it. Now you can use this potion during gameplay. Press R to activate the potion in the first slot or F for the second slot. Okay, R and F. I'm trying to stay on the keyboard and mouse for this playthrough. And what is this? Wolven Hour. Temporary, temporarily lowers the required level of all items by two. That's an interesting, an interesting and very unique item. Uh, what else do we have here? Black magic doll is junk, so just something to sell. Okay, yeah. I thought I'd come in here for something specific, but now I don't remember. Uh, what is this? Does this ha is this better than what we have on? This has a lot of resistances and 15 armor. This has some resistances, but more armor. I don't know that it's better. I think the resistances we get on this from um, the slashing damage and monster damage, and I think this is just good to keep on for right now. Until we get something that's obviously significantly better. A torn out page, Wraith Decoction. What was that about? Where is it putting the, the books? Or the recipes, rather. Hmm. Oh, okay, this is about formulae. Alright, well, for now... Yeah, we're getting a lot of just diagrams. And alchemical stuff, so... Hopefully it'll tutorialize us to that a little bit to refresh me, but we'll see. Uh, okay, so that we need to figure out where we were now and where we were headed. Uh, filters, okay, we're fine without filtering anything right now. I guess we could swing all the way out to here. Faster. Yeah, we probably don't need to go quite that fast. It's pretty scenic. We can uh, have a look around a little bit. Uh, I do want to take kind of a direct route if we could, though. Ah, uh, what is Whoa, going there, on up Roach. there? I don't like the look of those guys at all. Uh, yeah. Let's go. What do you think, guys? Uh, ghouls. Whoa. We 
We could probably lock on, but... With how erratic their movements are, I feel like it's kind of better not to lock on. Come on, come closer. All right, um, yeah, not bad. Oh, look at this. Oh, do we liberate an area? Hmm. Very cool. Area liberated. Its populace has returned. Ours is a decent village. Right on. Well, damnation. Can't please everybody. What? I don't know. You tell me. What do you have for sale? Got anything interesting? Yeah, he's got quite a few things. He's got lesser glyph of Quen, so we can slot this into weapons and armor later, I believe. He's got Grave Hag Decoction, Earth Elemental Decoction, and Water Hag Decoction. So if we come up against any of those, we might need to visit this guy again. Uh, they're not that expensive. White Gull and Dwarven Spirits. I don't want to spend all of our money on this stuff, but at the same time... I feel like it might be important. We don't really have anything to sell. Uh, we could go ahead and sell... Oh, we can't sell it. Maybe because it's damaged, I guess? <laughs> Farewell. Alright, well. Let's loot, shall we? It was telling us we could slot different abilities uh, in there. Let's see if we can actually do that. Uh, this is where we can uh, spend points to level up. I don't know that we have any points available. We, we definitely don't. Uh, we'll need to eat some to restore our health. Yeah, we were headed out this way. So let's go ahead and do that. Looks like the sun is going down. I'm always amazed at how beautiful the sky is in this game. I mean, everything in the game is beautiful, but the weather effects. Place of power should draw from it. Okay, that's pretty good. What? Holy shit, though! That is a giant ass bear, and he's level six. guys that didn't seem to damage him at all oh he doesn't like fire though We gotta get in there eventually. Whoa! Oh, 
Oh shit. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we have our sword out? Could have been bad. Looks like he's hung up on a tree back there. All right. Well, we got it. Again, it wasn't the prettiest in the world, Place but... Place of power. Should draw from it. Alright, we've gained an ability point. Press backspace and go into the character menu. Backspace is a weird button to hit, but okay. Uh, let's see character levels. When you have gained a certain number of experience points, you advance to the next level. You get experience points for killing monsters and completing quests, obviously. You receive ability points every time you gain a level. Using these points, you can acquire new abilities or improve ones you already have. An ability's color indicates what branch it belongs to. Choose an ability and click on it using your mouse to develop it. Okay. So we have different trees that we can specialize in. So we can specialize in combat, signs, alchemy, general, and then we have to have mutagens uh, that will slot, that we'll talk about a little bit later on. Starting out, uh, it's probably going to be a good idea to develop some of our basic things, uh, like our fast attack, or possibly our strong attack. I think we're going to go with some kind of light armor wearing, roguish, magic using Geralt. That would be interesting, and some alchemy, obviously. Let's just go ahead and improve our fast attack. Uh, so we're going to go down here, muscle memory. Fast attack, damage increased by 5%, adrenaline point gain by 1. It seems like uh, pretty good. And then we need to slot it. For an ability to take effect, you must first activate it by placing it in an open ability slot. Inactive abilities will not have any effects. So then we need to take it and put it over here. You can deactivate abilities anytime and activate others in their place. Alright, perfect. First ability point spent. Get Roach over here. Uh, hey, buddy. Whoa, okay, yeah. I mean, let's just calm down, okay? And where are we going to go next? Uh, we're going to head right across the bridge. Slower. Maybe it's something under the bridge? Smuggler's cash. Okay. Okay, so we just found a bunch of stuff that some smugglers had hidden. Oh, look at this. Very awesome. All right, uh, well, we're gonna continue across the bridge. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just go right through here and then we'll head over to the village. Faster. He's giving me some issues. There we go. We got him to jump down. Let's walk him up here and see. Hey -ya.
We've got some enemies over there. Maybe wolves? Yeah, they're over in town. Ah! Oh, jeez. What happened here? Something bad. No, we weren't gonna do anything like that. We're just trying to find out what's going on. people it's okay we got this well in hand okay just relax I'm wondering if we're gonna find a way up here or what exactly is going on there's people up there like Oh shit! And and there's wolves down here. All right, I'm not seeing an easy way up here, uh, which makes sense since it's like some kind of fortress. But uh, yeah, finding a way up here is going to be essential. Ooh, they have fist tech. Not good, guys. All right. Well. You'd think I could, like, reach out and grab that ledge, but we just slid all the way down. Alright. Well, there's gotta be some way, right? It just doesn't mean that it's down here, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna have to go across this bridge, which I don't really like because it means that we're gonna be walking basically right up to them, right? Okay, yeah, we can do this. How long you gonna make me wait? Whoa. Alright, well, let's just relax for a minute, guys. I guess they're just bandits, you know? A rope ladder, that's, uh, that's new. Uh, did we clear them all? What's this angrily scrawled notes? What am I supposed to fucking die for? Tamaria? Dad died for that. So did my three brothers. And what did that get them? Fuck all, that's what. Not even a decent burial. Dad always was a wise man. Dad always said a wise man learns from others' mistakes, so here I am, learning from his. And instead of dying for Tamaria, I'm gonna rob those who killed Tamaria's sons. 
We pitched a camp, got us a great spot, middle of the woods, near that old mill. Now we're all set up to go on our first raid. Ooh. Well, we put an end to that, I guess. Somehow I don't think that's what his father was trying to teach him. A lot of empty bottles. Not a lot of anything useful. Diagram for a serpentine steel sword, though. Uh, yeah. Interrogation report. Location, Amavit Fortress. Persons taking part. Sir Ignatius Veres, Bart the Bailiff, Andreas Bloom, Sir Ignatius' underlings, Camry, Gardy, and Belsi. Suspect, Colgrim, Witcher of the Viper School. The Witcher Colgrim stands accused of kidnapping Viddy, son of Paul, a beekeeper residing in White Orchard. Suspect was detained pending trial. Upon detention, he was searched, and a diagram for the forging of a steel sword was found on his person. It is suspected this sword was used to intimidate or possibly kill the kidnapped child. It is likewise suspected that the accused possesses other such diagrams for the forging of death-dealing implements. Though none have been found to date, Sir Ignatius has requested the Witcher undergo preliminary interrogation with the application of torture. This will take place once a torturer with the proper qualifications has been found. Addendum. It was later discovered drowners were responsible for the boy's disappearance. Unfortunately, Colgrim died before this information reached the investigators. For rather than face the baronet's judgment, he chose trial by ordeal. Sir Ignatius agreed and the ordeal, and he ordered he cleanse the Varrier's family crypt of specters. Colgrim never emerged from said crypt. It is highly likely the motley wraiths, specters, and evil powers residing there improved too much for him. Okay, we definitely want to check that out. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, um, and we have... a. Scavenger hut, we're probably not gonna do that right away. Let's just take a look here. Uh, level six. But we have a couple other things uh, we could do that are lower level, so we probably want to be doing uh, those other things first. We're going to head over into the ransacked village. All right, and then we're going to help this guy look for his brother. We will do that when we come back. Let's take a break here. Uh, when we return, we'll be searching the battlefields, and we hope to we'll find uh, Dune's brother, Bastion. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I do really appreciate the support. Let me know what you think in the comments below as I get my witchering legs under me. Uh, I'd appreciate anything you guys have to say as far as combat or builds we should go with, things like that. Like I said, I'm thinking about doing a light cloth armor, quick attacking, magic using witcher. I think that'd be fun. Let me know what you think. Take care of yourselves out there, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.